Hello there kitties, I'm Curry, the vacuum tube witch, blah blah blah. And I've got some thoughts about uh, about being on the autistic spectrum and some hands because uh, the last few months I've been going on a constant burnout and stress and, uh, and I had a lot of uh, anxiety and depression and all that nasty shit that it's been just fucking with my life and and like uh, like uh, everyone wants something from me and everyone uh, like feel, feels like uh, entitled to to my attention uh, just right now as if uh, I'm trying to fucking concentrate or something and and I'm trying to get some shit done, I'm trying to to read something or do something and uh, and uh, in a moment uh, someone just comes here and uh, wants some of uh, their problems taken care of no matter if uh, no matter uh, if uh, I have the resources to to do so as if it couldn't uh, wait just a few minutes uh, until I'm done with uh, what I was doing just now as if uh, expecting me to to just uh, Stop doing something and uh, and momentarily <coughs> switch my attention over to to their problems uh, as if it was uh, just that easy, like uh, like uh, people don't know that uh, for a lot of us uh, people on the autistic spectrum uh, it is uh, it is quite difficult to you know. Tear down the context uh, of uh, the thing that uh, you have been doing, then uh, set up the context of uh, the thing that uh, that someone uh, just uh, wants uh, you to do, and uh, all this uh, attention switching, your attention switching here and there and here and there and here and there and. Uh, Nah, it's uh, it's just uh, it's just uh, so tiresome. And uh, when I've got uh, too much of this, uh, because uh, of course uh, sometimes it can happen, but uh, when it when it happens constantly, it just uh, fucks with my life. It fucks with my mental health. And uh, I've been running like this for months. And uh, add to it the, the stress of uh, living in the modern uh, post-Covid uh, economy with all that fucking inflation and rising prices and, uh, and uh, no repairs to, um, to be done because uh, people can't afford it, I think. Uh, and I can uh, understand it and um, and I try to get by doing repairs uh, I uh, already had to raise my prices uh, because otherwise uh, it would be even more frustrating than it is now the result is that uh, I just can't make the ends meet and what is more I've got the, um, the sense of uh, hopelessness and like uh, seeing the, the shit going on over the place so the, the war in Ukraine is just one part but but the climate change the direction the economy is going the society is going all that uh, dictatorship uh, fuckery going on uh, not just in Russia although it's uh, it's uh, the most uh, obvious kind uh, right now but uh, all those uh, 
power hungry people those greedy power hungry people who just wanted all to themselves and uh, leaving all the rest with almost nothing it's just so fucked up I just can't live in a world like this <sighs> okay rent over and uh, what I'd like to talk about today is uh, that uh, if you're on the autistic spectrum and uh, you are going through hard times in your life and and uh, you feel that uh, you can't just take it anymore I'm totally with you I would love to give you a hug anyway I'd like to share some of my thoughts about uh, a few um, autistic spectrum related things first one would be the shall I call it uh, autistic dysphoria because uh, as a trans woman I know all too well that uh, what the gender dysphoria is um, but uh, I have noticed uh, as a uh, person with uh, with what used to be called uh, Asperger's syndrome uh, what is uh, autism spectrum disorders although I uh, I'd rather call it uh, autism spectrum superpowers because uh, that's more positive um, I don't really think that uh, it's uh, because you're autistic uh, there's something wrong with you there can be something wonderful with you and uh, and that's a narrative that I'd like to um, spread when talking about uh, being on the autistic spectrum but uh, sometimes uh, there are issues and mismatches uh, between uh, us uh, autistic people and um, the non-autistic the neurotypical although um, neurotypical doesn't mean uh, non-autistic it's uh, the concept of uh, neurodivergence is uh, way broader than just uh, autism spectrum anyway uh, because uh, I experience um, something similar to to how gender dysphoria manifests in um, a lot of us uh, trans people but uh, I can trace it down to the mismatches between uh, between me and uh, other people around me I uh, I can call it uh, autistic dysphoria. It means that uh, the the difficult emotions, the the feelings of, uh, for example, low self-esteem, self-hate, uh, shame, and uh, and yeah, all all kinds of nasty shit. Uh, related to the fact that uh, you're not like them you you never will be like them your brain is uh, fucking different and uh, and you can't overcome and um, you can't uh, function in the society that is uh, made uh, with uh, with non-autistic people in mind that's um, that's what I uh, call the autistic dysphoria and uh, I've been having it uh, for a long time and uh, could say that uh, it was in my teens already through my 20s and uh, 
now in my 30s uh, and because I've been uh, trying to make a living by myself I live in a polyamorous uh, relationship of uh, <coughs> of three people on uh, the autistic spectrum and uh, we also uh, possibly have uh, ADHD but uh, that's also the the similarity of um, of being on the spectrum uh, it uh, it somewhat helps uh, to be able to understand each other even though if you get to know one person on the autistic spectrum you got to know one person on the autistic spectrum because we are all different uh, some of us have uh, certain uh, sensory issues, others don't. Some of us uh, fare better in uh, social situations, others are abysmal at that. Like some of us um, have a lot of uh, social anxiety, others don't. And uh, same thing for like uh, dyspraxia and uh, and yes various uh, areas uh, of uh, of functioning the emotional uh, life uh, tendency to um, emotional overloads uh, because uh, for some of us uh, the thing that uh, causes us uh, overloads and uh, and possibly meltdowns uh, it's not um, necessarily the sensory things the the thing that uh, is uh, on the point of contact between our bodies and uh, and the environment um, it's uh, it's more about um, emotional overload. So it's uh, it's just uh, what happens here in the brain. Um, all in the brain, uh, not um, not really related to the things uh, in or or between us and the world. That would. Uh, lead us to another point uh, that uh, a lot of us uh, on the spectrum uh, into their adult lives uh, especially going through the hardships uh, they go through something that uh, would be called an uh, autistic burnout it's like the all those feelings that uh, you just can't go on anymore and uh, and uh, you have so much uh, stress and so much hardship that uh, it makes it just uh, difficult to live to to cope with it all it happens uh, when uh, when you are constantly overstimulated when uh, when you have uh, no chance to um, to rest to do something to, for yourself to take care of yourself and especially if you don't know how to ca take care of yourself and uh, i probably have this problem and uh, the burnout state um, it can be a long lasting if thing and uh, i believe that uh, with uh, with some proper support um, it can be mitigated but uh, but then you have to have uh, ways to um, to get that support uh, also uh, i think uh, Closely related is the the term high functioning, low functioning that 
I find uh, problematic because uh, because uh, the context has been used uh, is uh, mostly uh, takes into account the non-autistic, uh, the neurotypical point of view. Like the degree of uh, match between uh, between you, the autistic person, and uh, the society around you, centralizing the the society's uh, norms and uh, and ways and behaviors, and uh, that, for example, stimming wouldn't be taken uh, nicely and. Uh, a lot of uh, autismophobic uh, people would like to get rid of uh, stimming in uh, autistic people. And uh, contrary to, to that frame of reference, uh, I'd rather say, I'd rather propose that uh, the Low functioning, high functioning, uh, those labels uh, should be very individual for any one of us uh, changing over time uh, with um, our own uh, frame of reference. Like, uh, like when, when I feel good, when I, when I feel creative and uh, when my... Uh, depression uh, kind of fades away, my anxiety fades away, uh, when I can do more stuff, uh, feel better, uh, have better interactions uh, with, uh, with others, uh, more energy, that's, uh, that's probably the most important, more spoons uh, every morning, you know, the, the spoon metaphor. That would be uh, what I would call um, high functioning and uh, contrary to that uh, the low functioning thing would be like uh, what I've been going through in the last few weeks like crying every day and uh, and having a lot of um, depressive thoughts and uh, a lot of anxiety and no real uh, strength uh, no real willpower to to do things that I I want to do, but uh, but I just uh, I just don't have the energy to do that, and um, this can spiral because uh, it can uh, it can be a positive feedback, a loop of posi positive feedback, like uh, like a generator circuit that uh, the anxiety causes uh, more stress and uh, that stress adds to your anxiety and uh, it all rises and rises and rises and all that shit uh, it spirals out of control you have uh, more anxiety more depression you just um, don't feel that you can cut yourself off of this and uh, ground yourself. And uh, when you have something to do, like uh, when you have some plans, some, uh, some work to do, and uh, it interferes um, with uh, what you want to do, and uh, that can cause uh, some uh, feelings of... Uh, low self-esteem and uh, imposter syndrome and uh, some uh, some regret, some remorse and uh, this will make you feel even more like uh, you can't get a clear head and uh, that would be pretty much all that I, um, I'd like to talk about uh, the negative uh, the difficult uh, emotions uh, being on the autistic spectrum for now having been through some uh, crap bye